friends uh, today we will see uh, what's new in uh, master data service uh, 2016 uh, especially uh, uh, they have added a new uh, group called super users okay so to access master data manager uh, open the internet explorer and uh, give your server name colon uh, port 90 So this will open the master data manager okay uh, so to do the adventure works uh, scroll down to do the administrative task you need to scroll down and click on user and group permission So this will open the uh, web page where you can see uh, the current users and groups uh, what permission they have all those things you can do so we will wait for it to load So the first time when you click, uh, it's going to take obviously some time uh, because uh, it has to render the data from the database and uh, you know convert it and show it in a web format. Okay, now the site is loaded. Uh, you can see that uh, we have currently only two users, administrator and lab user. Uh, let's create a user, a new user. To do that, click on Manage Users. And uh, click on Add User. Now give a name. And click OK. So it can be a, either a SQL only name or a ED name, uh, it can be anything. So for this demo I will create a, uh, I think, uh, let me see, So you can enter multiple usernames, uh, specifying comma, okay. Uh, so this user is now created. Uh, now uh, we will give this user, uh, you know, uh, rights and add him to specific groups. So to do that, click on uh, manage groups. select the user click edit okay uh, click on functions uh, click edit so these are the various available functions available so uh, explorer version management integration management user and group permission system administration and super user so this is the new group uh, that is created uh, in uh, 2016 
master data service it's called super user the user can add create and uh, delete uh, so we will give this uh, permission okay click save and continue Now it will show you the model, a uh, model uh, where you have to give rights. So this is the database model where you will give him rights. So expand that. Uh, click on Adventure uh, Works. Uh, you can grant him specific uh, rights like reader, uh, all those things, or you can give him admin rights. So we are going to give this user admin rights. We have to first click on edit. You can give specific rights or admin rights. So you can see that the symbol changed. Click save. So now we are given uh, the new user all the admin rights required. Uh, can go back now managers steward click on functions he's given super user role if you click on model he has admin rights to this uh, adventure data view adventure work model uh, so this is how you give uh, access and permission, create a new user, uh, give him access and permission and master data services. I hope this has been useful for you and thank you for watching.